Mr. Ahuja, I'd like you to take a seat and uh, I invite Mr. Kumar to share the highlights with us of the report. Thank you. <clears throat> Hi, good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> yeah, it's obviously, as Nawal mentioned, uh, highly delighted and uh, looking forward to the second edition of uh, the influencing, Influencer Marketing Session uh, from both the Forum and Inca. Uh, you know, I was just, when Naval was speaking here, I was just thinking about it. You know, 10 years back, if we had thought about, you know, having a session like this, maybe it would have been more, you know, a possibility. And when you look at last two to three years, I think uh, the way the digital acceleration has happened, and the significance of the entire space of influencers, et cetera, has you know, further accelerated the significance of this channel in the entire marketing space. So uh, before I get on to some of the highlights, um, again, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the forum team, right, um, working along with the Inca team and uh, getting this session organized. Uh, it's also interesting to notice if you look at the agenda of the how the day is that multiple topics, including involving how to use this to improve brand love, how to look at it from social commerce, uh, how to use some of these influencers and leverage them. There are very interesting topics and there are already people who have done it. There are already brands who have used it and are also sharing their thoughts and their learning. So I'm sure the day is going to be more insightful. As I said, as we witnessed the entire digital acceleration playing a critical role in the modern marketing era, you know, channels like influencer marketing are only becoming more significant. And we are, all are witnessing influencer marketing as you know, playing a vital role in um, you know, not just in productivity of brands, but shaping brands appropriately to consumers. It is becoming a powerful tool uh, for any marketer wanting to reach out to new audiences and engage with them. Uh, as we just launched the report, and it would come to all of you, to your hands soon. Some of the key, key highlights that I can share here, let me try and do that. Uh, it is poised to grow at a robust 25% CAGR for the next five years. Uh, it has actually grown almost like 42% year on year, uh, which is from 900 crores in 21 to an estimated 1,275 crores in 22. And mind you, these are not including the media activation numbers. So that's even bigger, larger, you know, spends associated and linked with the entire channel of influencer marketing. So that's why influencers are divided into macro, nano, and micro creators, depending on the number of followers they have. And over 75% of brands consider nano, micro, and macro influencers as key to building and sustaining brands over using celebrities. When it comes to content, people are comfortable with accessing short form video content across platforms such as Instagram Reels, YouTube, Shorts, Mod, George, and Takatak, and you know, others. We, while you know, doing the survey, getting the report, working on it, found some very interesting findings. 80% um, of the respondents feel that the short content formats would continue to remain the main format of content preference, irrespective of the platform. Consumers have become increasingly conscious of the digital trust and authenticity of influencers, and 90% of respondents who are part of the survey have pledged to be the ASCII compliant. In terms of creating effective campaigns, the majority of brands using AI preferred, uh, preferred AI-powered tech platforms in aiding, selecting, optimizing, and creating them. Over 55% of brands consider live streaming and social commerce as emerging and more effective modes to influence the purchase. So as I said, this is a quite an evolving landscape. In fact, today when we go and talk to marketers, we have brands actually repeating, repeating uh, the usage of this entire channel. We have lots of learning that is happening, which is actually using to grow the brands you know, in multiple areas, getting new audiences. Uh, we have a lot of curiosity uh, coming from the marketers to see how this can be used wisely and intelligently to get some, you know, more productivity 
So all this is obviously helping us to navigate the entire marketing effort in this changing landscape. <clears throat> we hope this report will play an important role for marketers, influencers and brands to understand how influencer marketing is taking shape in the country and how they can leverage this to grow business. I just want to thank you all attending this session. Have a good day and uh, enjoy the day. Thank you.